All right, come on now, Facebook. <laughs> hey there, everyone. It's Nicholas Wildstar, Libertarian candidate for California governor. And welcome to the last Q&A with Wildstar for 2017. The new year is upon us, and this is usually about the time where people reflect on their lives and make resolutions to better themselves. For some of you, this may be to travel more or to work out more often or to eat less refined sugar products like I need to do. <laughs> I'm sure you have a few things piling up, but there's one more thing I would like for you to add to that list. I'd like for you to take the Wild Star Challenge. What is that? Well, I'm glad that you asked. <laughs> Go to my website, website wildstar2018.com and click on challenge to find out exactly what I'm talking about. I'm challenging you to do this because my main New Year's resolution is to be the best candidate that you need for me to be in 2018. From now until June 5th, I will be committed to learning every solution possible to resolving as many of the problems people in California are dealing with. I will commit all of my available time and energy to travel across the state to meet as many of you, each and every one of you, as possible. I will commit to continuing to make these videos so you can get to know me and so I can earn your trust by being the honest individual that I am. I will be committed to proving to you each and every single day of why I'm worthy to serve as a representative of you and are capable to governing the state for the people of California. Now, as committed as I am to seeing this through and to the very end, it would be all for nothing without your commitment too. If you're grumbling at that saying, oh man, does that mean I have to do something? <laughs> yeah, you do. Especially if you're grabbing over an arm and a leg for bills or how the rent is just too damn high. These things just don't fix themselves. And unless you plan on getting a new job that's going to pay you double the income, the politicians that do have that job to make sure that things are that way ain't going to make things any easier. So if you want to change things so you have to so you can have a better future and for the next generations to come to have a better future, you got to do something or else you're just passing the problems on down the line only to get worse over time. Lucky for you, I'm making things easy so you don't have to do much. All you have to do is support my campaign any way that you can. Right now, preferably, that would be monetarily, which leads me to answer the question I was asked so candidly, which is, why do I want your money? <laughs> First of all, I don't want your money. Personally, I could care less about money and aim to jumpstart the development of a society that is less dependent upon money just to eat or to have shelter or to have power just to live. But until then, money is needed to pay for those things. And even though it won't be, I won't be using your money that you donate to my campaign on my personal expenses, which would be a punishable offense by law, since that would be a violation of election rules set forth by the Fair Political Practice Commission. But it will go, go towards paying my staff members who have lives and bills and families of their own. Right now, I have eight people working on my campaign behind the scenes. And none of them are getting paid for what they're doing. They're all volunteers and they're all members of the Libertarian Party, which doesn't consist of paid party member positions on the state level, unlike the Democrats and Republicans who pour millions into this process. My staffers have been incredibly good to me, and I'm extremely honored to have them working on the campaign. They've sacrificed their time and even some of their own money to get me this far. <clears throat> They've given me so much, so the least I could do is ask you to help me to help them. Even if it's just a little bit, trust me, the gesture itself goes a long way. My staffers believe in me so much and in what we the people will accomplish once I'm elected into office that they've committed to doing whatever they need to do for free. And know that ultimately, the majority of the money that you do give is mainly spent on doing Three things. First, it amplifies my message to do an effective blast on social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter. The average cost is $500 each. So imagine how much it costs to send emails out to over 20 million registered voters in California. 
not to mention costs for promotional postcards, signs for people to put out on their lawns, bumper stickers, t-shirts, and even these business cards, which all need to be paid for. These are just a few of the many ways that I can get my name out there and reach a bigger audience that otherwise wouldn't know about my campaign. The second way your money helps is it helps my campaign establish its legitimacy. Just for me to get onto the ballot, candidates running for governor are charged a filing fee of almost $4,000. There's a few volunteers that have joined me in the in the 10,000 signatures needed to avoid having to pay that ridiculous amount of money. But if I don't hit the mark by the January or February 7th deadline, I will still need to be prepared to pay. After that, I'll need to pay for my candidate statement, which is a small paragraph on each candidate running that's in a voter's handbook mailed out before the election. The cost for that is $25 per word with the 250 word maximum totaling $6,250. I'd like to limit my statement to about 100 words, but that's still $2,500. Not to mention all those small hidden fees like charges to get a copy of the list of registered voters in the state or campaign committee qualification charges, which thanks to recent donations, I've been able to pay already. The third reason of why do I want your money <laughs> is because it gets you invested into the success of my campaign. Most people sitting on the sidelines do so comfortably because they feel like they don't have a dog in that fight, failing to realize that it is the results of the battle that affects each and every one of us. We, the people, cannot afford to gamble away our freedom, so it's necessary to step up and put some skin in the game. According to an L.A. Times article from August, the top three candidates of the Democratic Party have already accumulated nearly $30 million between them. So imagine how much they have to play with now, with California being a top two contender state and a blue state. It's very possible that this next gubernatorial race will start a never ending trend of elections becoming dominated by one party. As I said before, I don't need a million dollars to win, but I do need a million votes. But I also have to reach that million people. And I just so happen to know that I can do so on a significantly smaller budget than what my competitors will be spending. That's why I'm in need of just 1,000 people to donate $18 per month from now until June 2018. For less than $20 a month, you, will have a chance to direct, redirect the course of human history from a path that's guaranteed to leave the 99% of us poverty stricken and struggling to survive, to one where an infinite amount of prosperous opportunities are readily made available to us all. Even if you can't afford $18 a month, every dollar counts towards this revolution of liberation. So the $10 a month you pay for your Netflix membership or the $5 a month you spend on your coffee fix at Starbucks would be much more well spent on my Wild Star for Governor campaign. <clears throat> Excuse me. Don't let 2017 end without giving whatever amount that you can so that we the people can bring back liberty to California in 2018. Visit my website, wildstar2018.com, before midnight strikes, wherever you are. And no matter what, have a very safe and happy New Year celebration. Thanks for watching, and thank you to the anonymous viewer that submitted today's question. If you'd like for me to answer any question that you may have or would like to share your thoughts, please feel free to inbox me, email me using info at wildstar2018.com, or, of course, just drop it right here in the comments section. Peace and blessings, everyone. <laughs> and may the light of God and liberty shine on each and every one of you.